is dating, <coughs> dating pool. So the dating pool is the potential, dating potential mates, um, your dating pool. I guess, for example, myself, my, the dating pool would be, you know, women in my area who are in their, whatever my age, <laughs> women <laughs> is, you know, 25 to 34 or, or, or something like that, the dating pool. Um, the word pool oftentimes is used as kind of a noun and a verb in many different ways, but it means like a group, a pool, you know. I do sometimes some <clears throat> sports gambling thing with my friend. You call it a pool because we are all together. Um, so here it kind of means pool. All these women are together. That is the potential pool from what I can choose from. I, I can't just choose anyone I want, but um, I hope you can understand that. It's the, the universe or the uh, potential selection of women or men or whoever you like. Number two, game. So here it's used as a verb. As a noun, I think you all understand game, 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 noun. But you can use it as a verb in a couple different ways. First, let's look at the way she uses it. She says, uh, they were both dating coaches. We must have, like, gamed each other. We must have gamed each other. So to game kind of means manipulate, kind of. So when she's, she's using it as a verb, she could also use it as a noun. You know, there were a lot of games, meaning... We are trying to see who is, <laughs> who is, um, in the seat of power in the relationship. You know, in many relationships, either she has the power or the guy has the power, right? So they're kind of trying to playing games with each other, or just uh, maybe acting like maybe the girl acts like she doesn't like him, but she really does, or vice versa. The guy's acting like he's not interested, or so, something like that gaming, meaning they're trying to manipulate it. I know it doesn't sound that nice. For a couple other examples of game, um, like that, um, to, take it, to take advantage of. So a lot of people, uh, to, kind of means to cheat, to game the tax system, right? If you are for example, many big companies will have a lot of their business located overseas in some Caribbean island, or even Ireland is known as a tax haven recently because uh, Ireland has low taxes. So some companies, or some pharmaceutical companies I read, were trying to set up a big part of their business in Ireland. So that is kind of gaming the system, manipulating the system taking advantage of that situation. So in her, um, in her example, when she's talking, you know, she says to game, um, there was a lot of gaming because they both know, because they're both dating coaches and they both know a lot of tricks, basically, either to get power in the relationship or to convince her to like me or some, something like that. Um, let's go to the next one. Wingman, this is really common. I think this is a good one. Um, maybe a word that I would use a lot with my friends, especially when I was dating or something like that. A wingman. Um, a wingman, someone who helps you, someone who supports you. I think it comes from the pilot. Have you ever seen Top Gun? <laughs> Top Gun. Uh, Maverick is the main uh, pilot, but he has his wingman who is maybe controlling the computer system or the uh, navigation or something like that. The wingman is helping him. So if you go to the bar or something like that, say, oh, come to the bar with me. No, I'm tired today. Oh, come on, I need a wingman. I need a wingman. Come with me, right? Because if you're just at the bar by yourself, you look like a weirdo or a creep or maybe or, or a loser or something like that. So if you're at the bar with another guy, maybe it looks more normal or he can help talk to the girls in some, some way. I'm sure there's many tricks, right? Yeah, yeah. Wingmen. Um, so you wouldn't 
Golf can be. Could you say wing woman? <laughs> I think the girl would just say wingman. <laughs> yeah. If the I don't I'm not a girl, so I don't know. Winger. Winger. I, I think it's much more common for the guy to use this phrase. I'm sure some girls say it. Yeah. I think they would just say also wingman, even though they are female. I have think. You, have you watched the How I, How I Met Your Mother? I mo- watched one or two episodes, but yeah. I did not see many. In the episode, <laughs> the girl, uh, the main girl character, she said she is a wingman. She is a wingman. <coughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So even though she's a female, yeah, I can I can see that for sure. Um, number four, exude. So this uh, kind of means to display an emotion or a quality very strongly. Um, so I guess there is another. There is an original kind of original. I don't. I don't want to call it original, but there's a a meaning of exude that means to almost like a sw- uh, physical meaning. It's not common, but it means like to to ooze. Like to sweat, to exude something that is the physical meaning, and it's not that common. Of that, that's I've actually never that I can remember have heard that used. But if you think about it, if something is coming out of you, like sweat or something, they you the way the word is used, much more common, is. Confidence. If I exude confidence, it's like confidence is pouring out of my body. You can understand, <laughs> right? Or if he exudes cheerfulness, you know, cheerfulness is pouring out of my body. Um, obviously, cheerfulness, confidence. What are some uh, some other ones that, that that you might use to exude cheerfulness, confidence, power? You know, to exude power. These are not things that you can touch. But kind of, you know, try to imagine. It's not just that I'm confident, but I exude confidence. You know, like almost, almost everyone in the room can sense it because of the way I act or, or something like that. To exude <laughs> cheerfulness. I, I think it's most commonly used with confidence, but anything like that. Confidence, cheerfulness, power, insecurity, something like that. And let's go to the next one. Palpable. This is another good word. It's not as common, but I like this word and, and something that I use from time to time. It means it's, it's so intense that almost you can touch it. Like, obviously, um, this is used, I think, the most common word that this is used with is tension. That's just my opinion, right? It, it's, it's a common word to use it with is tension. The tension was palpable, right? There was so much tension in the room, you could almost physically feel it. Mm -hmm. You could almost touch the tension. It is palpable. Um, Here they said um, some synonyms. Perceivable, noticeable, discernible, observable, like that. so I, I think it's tension is something that is, you can say, palpable. Here they say a palpable sense of loss. You know, maybe if we are all friends, really, really good friends, and someone dies and everyone is so sad in that room, you know, there's a real palpable sense of loss. Um, something like that. And number five and six, six, savvy. Savvy, I think just simply put, means well-informed, kind of, well-informed. It is all, and I'll give another example. It is very commonly used with the, with the word tech, to be tech savvy. Tech, tech savvy. Is it, is it kind of nerd? It's, a nerd has a usually negative connotation. You don't want to be a nerd, right? Maybe some people do. They are proud to be a nerd. You know, they... Are, they have confidence or whatever, but savvy, sa- savvy. I don't want to say sounds sexy, but savvy sounds nice. Oh wow, well, savvy. You know, tech savvy. Uh, tech, tech, technology. T e c h. He is very tech savvy. You know, he always has the new uh, electronic device and 
his computer is connected to his whatever, his smart TV and his refrigerator and he can change the temperature in his house just by using his smartphone and, or something like that. I would, I'm not that tech savvy. Not that tech savvy. A little bit, but not that tech savvy. My brother, three years younger than me, noticeably a little bit more tech savvy <laughs> just because he's three years younger. Um, but it is used, uh, again, I think tech savvy is something that it is commonly used with. You can use it with other things. You can use it just um, by itself. My mother is very savvy uh, when it comes to choosing the right item for the party or, or something like that. She's very well informed, in, in tuned, has good perception um, to use. You can actually sometimes use this word as a noun, to have savvy, meaning you kind of make the right choice, you know what you're doing, you're well informed, you have good perception, like that. that. That's cute. In sometimes, uh, not so much skilled, not so much skilled. A lot of times you could pro like maybe use the two together, you know, skill and savvy or something Maybe you could possibly use the two words together, you know. Savvy is more just kind of being smart about the situation. Similar to smart. Smart can be used in many different words, right? Um, so that is savvy. Actually, I like the vocabulary. They're, they're all... Um, none of these words sound strange to me. These are all useful words. Any questions about them? Okay, let's go to reading one, two, how many paragraphs? One, two, three, four, five, and just three sentences each. Three sentences each. Ted, you can start, and then you can go <coughs> clockwise. So Ted, Alex, Yevon, and so on. Three sentences. When I first started on my dating, I was 19. I had